Hey guys, Cody from Kodiak Fishing and coming up in this video, can we make an 86 pound thrust trolling motor with an APC prop as fast as some of the more common electric outboards? Stay tuned. Hey guys, before the video starts, I want to give a huge thank you to you guys making the last video. I tested uh, both the videos I did testing my props, a huge hit. My uh, 10 by five versus 10 by four is currently at 98,000 views. And to say my mind is blown is a total understatement. I mean, you guys rock. Thank you so much. That gives me the motivation to really push these videos out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, another thing, guys, there seemed to be a little bit of confusion when ordering the 10 by five prop. Now, I did not know this, but there is a 10 by five prop specifically made for the uh, RC planes. The prop you should be ordering is the one in the link of the description of that video. And number two, um, you wanna go ahead and order the 10 by five M-LH, okay? Make sure you order that prop. I will have that at the link, uh, link in the description. I'm sorry, guys, I'm a little bit tired. Uh, a third thing here is uh, I wanna give APC a huge thank you. They saw that video, the one with 98,000 views, and decided to send me a bit of a care package with some really cool stuff in it. Now, I haven't gotten it yet. I'm super excited and I will uh, fill you guys in. So again, guys, Thank you so much for that, the awesome output of that video. I mean, I, my mind's blown. I'm on the road to 500 subs, maybe even more. Uh, be on the lookout for a catfishing video probably coming up Thursday night to Friday morning. All right, guys, hope you enjoy the video. All right, guys, I got the stock prop on right now. It is a Vibor 86 pound, 24 volt motor. So I have to have two batteries in series here. The 24 volts, 212 volts actually. And right now we are running at 33 amps. That is the stock prop. And we had it to 4.4, but right now we're looking at 4.3. There's the prop we're gonna replace it with here in about five, 10 minutes. And so far the build quality of this motor is good, but there is a little bit of an issue. So when you adjust the throttle, there's a bit of a delay until it goes to that particular power setting. Now this is a variable throttle trolling motor. I'll show you what I'm talking about, so check this out. I'm going to turn it off, okay, right now. See it's still going? Now it's starting to back off. Now this isn't a, a problem with my specific trolling motor. There is a couple other YouTube videos of these V-Vores with this same little issue. It's not a deal breaker for me, really, but I mean, I wish it was as responsive as my Minn Kota Enduramax, but anyways, with 33 amps, we were able to get 4.2 to 4.3 miles per hour. Let's go back over to the bank. Let's go ahead and switch out this uh, stock three blade prop for this 10 by eight tube rip. Too deep, buddy. All right, well, I got no help with this boat today. As you can see, I am going to, here's, uh, okay, yeah. Guys, this is the Vivor motor. It resembles a water snake to me due to the fittings, like the depth color there, the steering tension. And yeah, guys, check this out. Watch this. That's like a cast metal transom, so it is seriously stout. So I got the 86 pound motor still on the boat. I got the 10 by 8 APC prop, as you can see there. Now, guys, with this motor, it did not come with uh, the hole through the prop shaft for a sure thing. Rather, if you can see this fitting right here, it's got kind of a square fitting with a square, kind of a square shape on the threads um, to hold the, keep the prop from spinning. I can't talk today, guys, I'm sorry. I'm still real tired, I worked last night. Anyway, so I went ahead and took this motor down to my uh, job that he has a drill press, my boss does. I took a 1 8 inch drill bit and I drilled the whole straight through the center of the prop shaft so that way the, um, the shear pin could be installed and to keep the 10 by eight from spinning. All right, guys, anyways, let's get this uh, lowered into the water. And this boat's uh, boat, jeez, this motor is pretty robust, guys. It's it's pretty heavy. I'm if I had to guess, this uh, Vivor 24 volt weighs in at about 30 to 32 pounds. I can't get my finger in there. Give me, let me set you down, guys down in a second. Hey, while you're sitting down there, wait for me. Hit the like button and possibly subscribe. I'm going to be putting out some fishing videos here shortly. Let's 
you guys do it? Did you guys hit the like and subscribe button? If not, that's okay. I just hope you enjoy the video. All right, motor's in the water. Let's give her the beans, huh? See, the whole bow lifts up. I'll, I'll show you. Watch this. It's like it wants to plane, but it doesn't. I'm going to hold the camera as still as I can and just go full power. Whoa. So much torque. Obviously, it doesn't plane, but... All right, what are we drawing? 44 amps. 42 amps. I hope you guys can see that. I hope the sun ain't glaring off. Let's climb to the front and get our speed. Now sitting in the back, sitting in the back of the boat, I was getting about 4.6, 4.7. If I hit five, it's a win. That's only one mile per hour less than the Newport NT300 did on a Johnny Bass boat. As, uh, as I saw Alex, I can't say his last name. The Alex guy on YouTube who uh, reviews kayaks. All right, we're at 4.9. Come on, baby. It's kind of turning, so it's losing speed. 4.8. Okay Alrighty guys, so after getting some people on board, we're gonna get a speed test. We are doing four and a half miles per hour, drawing 41 and a half amps. Got the wife on board and the two kiddos. We got Shane right there. Yeah. Ryder right here, we're all having fun on the boat. So four and a half miles an hour with this motor. Now, if it was on a possible V-Hull, probably a little bit more speed, maybe a 10 foot, 12 foot, 14 foot John boat. I don't recommend it for inflatables. And I also wouldn't recommend it for kayak since it was way too heavy. It is too heavy for a kayak. I don't have experience putting uh, pulling motors on kayaks, but I would think 30 pounds is a little bit too much, especially when you can go with like a 15 pound. Uh... Yeah, look at the seagull going up, taking off. Especially when you can go with a 15 pound, 30 pound thrust. But, all right, the sun is starting to set behind the hill there, guys. I'm going to go ahead and head to shore, load up, and go home. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you on the next one. Okay, guys, first of all, I hope you enjoyed that video. Second of all, I want to share some of my thoughts. Um, so we managed to achieve about, I think my max speed off camera was 5.2 miles per hour with this 86-pound uh, trolling motor at 24 volts with a 10 by 8 APC prop. If you're going to order this prop, guys, make sure if, when you go to their website, go to Categories and Marine. Don't get any other prop for a trolling motor. Make sure you go to the Marine section. With that being said, so we got 5.2 miles per hour. At first, I was a little bit disappointed, to be honest. And then I really got to thinking about it. Number one, the boat I got is not the most efficient through the water. It's kind of like pushing a brick through water. It just doesn't cut well through the wake or waves. Uh, secondly, if you guys know of the channel Wayne the Boat Guy, if you don't, you should look him up and subscribe. I'm a sub of his. I highly recommend it. He tested the NT300 uh, outboard made by Newport Vessels. Now, it is a three horsepower equivalent, or so they claim. And with his boat, I think it's a 12 or a 14 foot, I can't remember. He got five miles per hour. Now, I was able to get five miles per hour out of my 10 foot inflatable. But like I said, the hydro hydrodynamics is complete poo-poo on my boat to put the best words so the nt300 it uses a 36 volt system and it uses 1200 watts i believe my math is right about 30 35 amps our or my little motor here the 86 was using about 42 amps so pretty close at 24 volts excuse me and it seemed to be putting out about a thousand watts that's a comparable power output and i was able to achieve close to the same speed so I wasn't able to get six, seven miles per hour, but I would say mission accomplished with this motor. I'm getting pretty close to comparable results to a $1,500 electric outboard while spending about 350 bucks. Because if you think about it, the NT300, I'll put the pop up here. The NT300 is, I is this much. I top of my head, I can't think about it. 1200, 1300, I think, or 1100, I can't remember. With this motor here, and I'll put the link in the description. It was 155 bucks, I think. 
the prop being ten dollars so up to 165 and depending on what battery you go with now the lead acid batteries that i had they're heavy guys i know and i should have moved them to the front of the boat but i didn't have any kind of extension cable those together i would say is about 160 dollars from your local auto parts store so guys we're well, i can't do math right now 160 to 160 we'll say that 320 bucks is getting us the same power output close to the same output as an nt300 at 12 to 1500 bucks i think 2200 bucks with the battery so a complete huge mission accomplished guys now i don't know the durability of this trolling motor first look it looks really good you got to i mean for one you got to cast it looks like a pot metal or cast metal type of transom bracket it's got a stainless steel shaft a variable throttle control with a little bit of a delay but it's not too bad uh, and it's got a little battery meter on it, nothing great. But when it comes to accessories, such as like either E-Propulsion or NT300, you're getting a little LCD screen that gives you, you know, your watts used. Even with E-Propulsion, how much longer you can run it, which is really neat. But I think anybody can get on Amazon, order a little battery meter to put on a 24 volt battery and almost get the same thing for even, you know, even less. But I'm sorry this video was rushed today, guys and i probably didn't get all the footage i should have but i still hope you enjoyed the video and like i said when um or like i said in the intro i should rather say apc is sending me a box of goodies i'm hoping there's a prop in there we could test with this 86 pound motor guys thanks again for all the great support leave something in the comment leave something i can't talk leave something in the comment maybe an idea i can do or whatever else you guys want to see thank you so much for watching the video again guys We'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.